up my dudes, Val here. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the uh was it Butler? I will keep wanting to call him Maid. The Butler Veldor. We're going to take a look at what he does and everything. I haven't looked at it yet. The update just finished. Game just went live, so let's go ahead and let's look at it. Heroes Jubilee. Okay. Tenth character is guaranteed four star or higher. All right, all right. So exactly what is what? What does he do? I knew his wind right away. He's also physical or melee. So he's melee, he has 32, 44 attack, pretty high attack. Um, everything else is pretty good. Let's go ahead and check out the skill details. This is where it's important. Single target, okay. We're already looking really good with the single target wind ult. Changes solo secrets into solo skills, increases all solo skills. Gauge increased by 5%. That's gonna be really, really good for a Karabitas team, which is where you use most wind units. Because <laughs> as funny as it is, Karabitas is the best leader for a wind team. <clears throat> Sacred Guidance. Level 1 decreases all targets pierce power by 15% for 2 turns, increases soul skills damage. So this is going to be really good because with a Karabitas team, because 1, he's a converter. Orange to green converter, really, really good for a Karabitas team. But 2, he also um, he increases soul of skills damage until end of battle. And now, what is his passive? When you unleash a com six combo attack with solo skills, increase own attack by 5%. This is going to be a phenomenal passive for Karabitas. All in all, um, basically, if you use that team, if you use Karabitas on wind, you use with wind Shuna, with wind Valentine, and the Rimaru and all that, you got all that team set up. This guy is definitely a good get. So, if you guys are going to summon, I wish you guys good luck. I don't think he's anything crazy, though. I don't think he's anything that's unique or anything that's going to break the bank. I think he's a very solid unit. Um, but I think he's going to be really, really, really good for that specific team. But he has no real way of buffing his own damage or anything like that. So, he doesn't really have an amp. But Karabita's team is so cracked, I don't think it matters. Anyways, that's just my very first uh, opinion on him because it all just came out. Uh, wait to see some more footage, I guess, and if I do summon for him, you guys will see a video. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Let me know what you guys think about the Butler Veldora. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.